The summer travel surges and high prices hit consumers. Expedia rolling out one key. It's a new rewards program spanning different brands. And Expedia has launched multiple AI-powered tools as well for its customers over the past few months. Here to talk about that, AI and travel. What's been a lot of high demand, prices, everything else. Peter Kern is here, CEO of Expedia. Good morning. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Uh, we want to talk about prices and AI, but, but tell us what, this, uh, what one key is about. Yeah, so one key is a culmination of a ton of work we set out about a year ago to bring all our big brands together into one rewards program so that customers could buy anything, a Verbo, a flight, a cruise, anything, and use those rewards anywhere in any of our brands. So you it's describe it. It's, you pronounce it Verbo. I do VRBO. It's Verbo. Is, You're behind the I'm times. I'm behind the times. Watch, watch an ad, Andrew. Come on, man. I always say VRBO. Right, this is the moment. We're going to get it right. Verbo. It's Verbo. We had to solve this with Ralph Lauren, by the way, or Ralph Lauren. <laughs> there you, you go. Did. So, just you didn't. He, just saying. Joe no, had no, it. You say Lauren, Ralph Lauren, for 50 years. It's <laughs> okay. Always just in there. Joe's got Verbo. Just, Joe knows. Verbo. So, so the whole <laughs> idea is to get it across all the all the brands. I'm verbose. All the and brands. What do you get? <laughs> so and, you, and what do you get for it? You get one key cash. So you earn okay. it all in cash. It's super simple. You can use it for anything. So you stay at a Verbo with your family. You. Uh, accumulate one key cash, you can use it on your next flight, your next <laughs> hotel booking, anything, and vice versa. And you can go That's between the brands, between Expedia, Verbo, and Hotels.com, and use it really for anything. And on air, on car, on uh, on cruise, you also get right. points from the suppliers. So, so, right, so, I still, so I still get the points from still the airlines, airlines from the get hotel. Out. If I get a Marriott hotel, I get the Marriott yeah. Bon it's just points. a way for us to reward our travelers, and it works for everybody. It's not just for, you don't have to get to 10,000 miles to earn something. You can get you know, you can get five miles or five cents or five dollars or five hundred dollars. So whatever you earn, you can use. So everybody gets a benefit. Can I ask a weird verbo question? How much repeat business do you get? Because I will admit I've used it. And then if I like a place, I, you know, I reach out and I make friends with them and I don't have to pay your five or six hundred dollar fee next time. There, there is some of that. Uh, and, and the VR space uh, does have it where customers will go back to the same place. But by and large, customers go a lot of places. And we are trying to create the best marketplace, the most transparent marketplace. Now we have the first VR marketplace where you can get rewards. So we think that's really attractive to customers. Uh, and many times, if you're going to different places, you need a trusted you know, uh, product that you can go to. Or you might go to the beach right. one year, you go to the mountains another time, you go to Europe or something. So, uh, so we want to be that. Occasionally what's that the, what's happens. What's the fastest growing segment right now? Of travel? No, of, of, your, of your various brands. Of our various brands. Right. If we um, talk about one key, if you will. There's, there's like broad the, growth. You know, Verbo really benefited from COVID, as we right. all talked about for a couple of years. Uh, and so VR is still a, an area where there's lots of growth. Uh, but uh, right now, international travel is growing the fastest. And cities have come back this year. So, you know, there was that whole debate about cities coming back. Right. Cities are back. U.S. cities, international cities. Some cities we know are not back. Some cities haven't come back in tourism. But the big tourist cities, right. I mean, Put San Francisco aside, but in Europe this summer, packed. How's your How's your city of Seattle doing? City of Seattle's doing pretty good, I have yeah. to say. Yeah, it's uh, it's not like San Francisco. Um, let's Let's talk though about just the broader market in terms of where where you're seeing uh, money move. You're saying international travel still hot. International, very hot this year. It basically is moving to where people can go. So it's, last summer maybe they couldn't go to Europe. Now they can go to Europe. Asia's opening up. The Chinese are not yet traveling, so there's still a lot of places in Asia that are not so packed, um, but that will open up. So it kind of goes in waves, whatever people have. What are you seeing on pricing? So pricing in international travel is sky high, very expensive. High. Uh, hotels, uh, air, very, very high. Uh, but domestic has eased off a little bit this summer because basically the people float out to international. So there aren't as many plane routes. Those planes are full. The domestic flight's slightly less full, so prices have and moderated. everybody, at, I at, every single at person at Disney World is now riding a bike down the Spanish Steps or something. Not every single person, but if they were going to cities or mountains, or you were going to a lake somewhere to hike, you know, maybe you couldn't get back to Europe. You wanted to go to Europe. You have always wanted to go to Europe. Europe is packed. And what Americans. do we, we? We're teasing that we're vandalizing places over there. What? Uh, there's the people who wrote on the Coliseum. I don't know why people people vandalize everything. That's not good. People, Although that yeah. that place is right. in total disrepair. I mean, the Coliseum. It's <laughs> no, like they've spent uh, a huge amount. Of, now they've spent a huge amount of money. There was a well, big. Uh, you know, when it becomes the the, the, the infrastructure the, spending in Italy. Is, have you seen that place? Uh, like, I mean, the the cage, the cage that they're, they're building. No, that's bad. Yeah. The cage that they're building for the match <laughs> between Zuck and Musk. Yeah, that's exactly. That's a lot of money. Exactly. 
they could do that. Help us with the, the AI piece of all of this. So one sure. of the other things that you spent a lot of money and energy and resources yep. on in the past, call it six months to a year, has yep. been building generative AI using open AI and an API exactly. to allow people to, to interact with this yep. in a completely different interface. Is that the future of all travel planning? I, I think it's part of the future. You know, there are people who, I've, you've, I'm sure you've played with ChatGPT, there are people who love natural language, want to ask questions, want to, you know, and, and it's great for discovery, you know, is, is Paris good in the spring? You know, how do I find hotels near the right. Eiffel Tower, whatever, like that's a great use for it. But the personalization part really comes from our understanding of your history and our specific data about what, what's available when and what the prices are. So when that gets matched up, that gets really powerful. A lot of folks worry about, you know, they say ChatGPT, great for creative pursuits, mm. not necessarily for mission critical pursuits, because yeah. some of these things will, you know, spit back out answers that are completely false. It'll make up information. Right. It'll hallucinate all of that. How do you, do you get around that? And if you do, yeah. how? So when we integrated it, we created our own algorithms basically to control the responses so that it wouldn't go off piste and go into your love life or something else. <laughs> like it stays on travel or we redirect it. Uh, and then basically as you go through your flows, if you ask it a question and it's relevant to hotels or something, we will save those hotels in our planning tools and you can go in there and shop around. So it, it's not just a free form chat GPT product. It's ChatGPT within the rails of travel. Right.